two things before I review this album. One, my sleeves are too long. Two, this jacket is getting a little small. And three, uh, the album cover creeps me out just a little bit. My Dear Melancholy is an extended play released by The Weeknd. It was a uh, I was a little shocked that we actually got this right now because we just had his uh, music um, kind of collaborated with Kendrick Lamar for Black Panther. I guess the thing that I was most surprised by was the fact that it's an extended play. It wasn't a full album. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the concept of extended plays, but as long as there's good music on it, you can do whatever you want. I think that's fine. But the idea behind this is, is the EP good? Is the music on this extended play worth talking about? And yes, I think it is. Now, you're probably going to hear this from everyone else except for me. I'll touch on it, but I'm not going to go deep into it, is that most of this music has something to do with his breakup with Selena Gomez and I guess one of his other former girlfriends as well. And while that might be some truth to that, maybe, I don't try to go too deep into it unless it's like ultra confirmed and that is exactly what the topic is supposed to be about. However, I could see a very strong argument for the first song and that one is called Call Out My Name. The thing that's very particular about this song is that it feels very controlled. And I mean that in a good way. It feels like it almost wants to go over the top, but it doesn't quite go there. It has a lot of emotional aspects to it. And you're kind of almost waiting for him to explode because if you're emotionally invested in that song when you're listening to it and just like kind of in that zone with him, it surprises you. But at the same time, it's like that pro I could probably see that coming. The song I think I enjoyed the most was Wasted Time, partially because I know it's produced in part by Skrillex. There's a lot of elements that feel very risky, and for the most part, I think it works. The fourth track, titled I Was Never There, I have split feelings on. The first part is just a little too mellow for my taste, and then when the second half comes around, I feel like it catches up a little bit more, and it just becomes slightly more vibrant while still keeping that type of sound and vibe that he was going for throughout this entire album. The last song, Privilege, I enjoyed it. I don't think it's the best song on there, but having said that, in this song, and in a few other instances and a few of his other songs, but this one in particular, there is a line. Lyricism means a lot to me. And if you can create a lyric that is maybe one creative or two just mind-boggling because you never thought that someone could create that, you're doing something right. I'm just like, whoa, not bad. Now what do I think about this album as a whole? I like the fact that this feels very consistent. It almost feels like from the first track to the next to the next and all the way to the end, it's the exact same vibe. The mood 
stays consistent. The tempo and some of the instrumentals and a few other things production-wise do change, but that mood is almost the exact same throughout all six tracks. And the small things I have a problem with about this album, one, a couple of uh, small vulgar things. This isn't actually a very vulgar album at all, but he has some moments in there. Explores a few words, you know, that. And the second thing I thought that's in at least two of the songs that I can recall is he just has this siren sound. And I find it very unnecessary. It just feels distracting from some of the mood he was trying to set. And he does successfully set, but at certain points, not not really. Doesn't doesn't help. So guys, after having concluded my review of this album, I have given the production of it 92%, creativity 88%, Expression and lyrics, 79%. And with all of that, I'm going to give this album's vibe grade a good. The Weeknd has a very interesting way of making his music, and I felt like I needed to listen to it, and I'm happy that I did. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it a lot. And remember, click right here to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment. That'll make you say yes.